Passover in Camp. In 1862, J.A. Joel and 20 of his Jewish comrades in the 23rd Ohio Volunteer Regiment found themselves in winter headquarters at Fayette, West Virginia, with Passover near at hand. After talking the matter over among themselves, they presented a request to their commanding officer for permission to absent themselves from duty for several days in order to observe the holiday. Their request was granted. They set about organizing a Seder, which is a Passover ritual dinner. The camp sutler, a Jew who was going back home to celebrate the festival with his family in Cincinnati, readily agreed to send some matzah to them as soon as he reached his destination. The day before Passover, therefore, a supply train unloaded seven barrels of matzah at the camp. Although they had not thought of asking for Passover prayer books, the sutler had sent some of those along too. So the makeshift Seder was prepared with the assistance of Yankee ingenuity. Substitutes and symbols upon symbols were contrived to fulfill the elaborate Passover prescriptions. It was as though the Passover tradition were being recast in a new mold. Cider served as the symbol of rejoicing instead of wine. A whole lamb replaced a lamb bone as the representation of the paschal sacrifice. The agony of the servitude in Egypt was recalled by bitter weeds instead of the usual, usual horseradish. In lieu of the delicious horoset, an edible mortar concocted of chopped apple, nuts, and wine, a brick symbolized the brick building of the Hebrew in Egypt. Matzah, eggs, and chicken were the only conventional items, but still, it was a Seder. And the very originality of the religious symbols was an index to the devotion and piety with which these soldiers, far away from home, were determined to commemorate the exodus from Egypt. Joel himself took the role of the leader of the service and changed the blessings ordained by centuries-old practice. It must have been quite a sight. These 20 men gathered together in a crude and hastily built log hut, their weapons at their side, prepared as in Egypt land for all manner of danger, singing the words of praise and faith in the ancient language of Israel. There, wrote Joel, in the wild woods of West Virginia, away from home and friends, we consecrated and offered up to the ever-loving God of Israel our prayers and sacrifice. There is no occasion in my life that gives me more pleasure and satisfaction than when I remember the celebration of Passover in 1862. Rabbi Bertram Wallace Korn.